Hi, this is Jay with Jay Pryor Coaching. Thanks so much for joining me this week. This week I want to talk about safety. It's uh, something that's been on my mind lately because, again, it's kind of a theme uh, often with my clients. When we start to delve into some of their limiting beliefs, one of the first things that come up, almost inevitably, some of the beliefs that keep them back or keep them playing small are the beliefs that have to do with their own safety. So in other words, like I have to do X, Y, Z in order to be safe. It's the thing that stops you. And I want to make a distinction between the difference between just having a regular old fear of taking risks versus something that um, really affects that core safety, that, that ability to feel safe as a human being. That's the stuff that I think comes at us when we're little and forms those brain patterns that end up, you know, hurting us later on life. Not hurting us, but stuff that we have to, to blaze through or break through. So I invite you this week to really get in the inquiry around, you know, if you're looking at, first of all, you know, I want you always in the inquiry around what's running you in terms of your belief system. Because a belief is essentially just something you've told yourself over and over and over again. And so, you know, I hope you know by now that part of our work, uh, my work, is to help you figure out what are some of those things that are your beliefs that might be running you that you don't even know you have. And when you first start to uncover a belief, it's like an archaeologist where you start, they see the top part of a bone and, you know, you see on TV how they brush that away um, with a brush, you know, they kind of brush the dirt away and they see the top part of a bone. Well, there could be a whole dinosaur under there and all you're seeing is that top part. And limiting beliefs are like that. They're like you start to see the top part of that and you see, oh, that's what I believe. Well, when you first get into that, you're really just seeing the surfacey stuff. And eventually, if you keep digging, and again, you have to dig gently and carefully but and be kind to yourself along the way, you might be finding a dinosaur under there. You might be finding a huge belief. And often, what I find is that some of those beliefs get at the core of whether you feel safe or not. So I invite you this week to start being in the inquiry around what is it that has you feel safe? And are there triggers or things that you can connect to your own safety? One of mine, for example, is that I feel a lot safer and feel more grounded when there's a lot of food in my house. I grew up uh, with my house attached to a grocery store. So we didn't necessarily go get groceries when I was a little kid. We just walked next door to the grocery store and there were shelves and shelves and shelves of food lots and lots of food so when we've done a big grocery trip at the house and I open the cupboards and see lots of food I have an overwhelming sense of safety it's something that makes me feel safe so again I just invite you this week to be in that inquiry what makes you feel safe what are some of the triggers that um, have you not feel safe what are some of the beliefs that are linked to your own safety and you feeling grounded and safe on this planet and in your skin it's a worthy inquiry to be in, I think. That's all I got for this week. Thanks for joining me.